Welcome back to another Worthless Month. I am your host, Gore the Dog Butcher, back again to shine the light on this worthless dog culture. Title of this video is uh, Hypocrites and uh, Parasites. Just like the, the songs, Hypocrite and Parasite. But we've, you know, touched based on the hypocrisy the lying of these dog nutters in this dog culture. But we've, or at least I have never uh, mentioned, uh, well, sort of in a different way, but I've never mentioned how these dog nuts uh, probably do have parasites in them. And I will explain uh, what I mean by that. A few things I want to discuss, maybe three, two things I want to discuss uh, regarding this dog culture. Um, first thing that I want to discuss is, I think, this is my theory. I, I, here, here is another one of my uh, maybe bogus theories. I think that a lot of these dog nutters, they're, they're pretty much done. Like I think 80%, 80% of dog nutters, including the, the pit bull nutter, especially the pit bull nutter, they're, they're done. Like they, they cannot, this is my theory, they cannot be helped. They are pretty much screwed. They're pretty much stuck picking up dog shit for the rest of their lives. And with these people, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter with these people if they if you know they've been attacked, if somebody they know that have been attacked and killed, if their children have has been attacked, uh, if they read and notice the facts and stats, it doesn't matter. A lot of people will sorry, sorry, not people, these dog nutters will remain as a dog nut. They'll remain as a dog lover, as these as a as a dog owner, no matter what. And especially even when their own child has been attacked by the family dog, they will still remain as a dog. There's so many examples of of, of uh, dog owners, dog nuts being attacked, but still being a dog nut. Still being a dog nut. And that goes to show a lot of these dog nuts, they can't be helped. They cannot be helped. And they are they are going to suffer for the rest of their lives as a dog nutter. I think a lot of them are suffering. A lot of them are insecure. A lot of them are damaged. They've been picked on in the past. A lot of trauma, which is why they get these worthless mutts. This is what I this is what I think. This is what I think, because these things, you know, they, they provide nothing. They, they provide nothing except this worthless attention, this worthless, empty, disgusting attention. And, and dog nutters, they, they like it. They like the worthless attention that dogs give them. Even though they get nothing from it. Even though it, it's such a big delusion. An illusion. But, but they, they, they think these dogs love them. They think dogs care for them. And that's not the case. And speaking of parasites. I think. Here's another theory. Is that I think. Uh, a lot. Why 80%. Maybe 50%. Of dog nutters. Okay, okay, eighty percent of dog nutters can't be helped, but I think maybe fifty percent of dog nutters have parasites in them. Fifty percent of dog nutters, I believe, just throwing it out there, they have parasites in them that are affecting their their cognitive, that are affecting their mental. I think a lot of dog nutters don't know what they're saying. 
They don't know what they're doing with these dogs. They're, they're not even conscious. I think a lot of them aren't even conscious while they, they're suffering in this dog culture. And it could be due to, to parasites of them suffering with parasites in their minds, in their brains. Because when these dog nuts go and hug the, their dog, they're putting their nose, their mouth on the dog. Or their dog's putting their nasty tongue on their mouth, on their nose. Which allows access for, for germ, bacteria, parasites to get into their mouth, into the nose. And guess what? They, they, they have these parasites in them. Which can explain a lot of their behavior. Some of them are, are just far gone. They're, they're, they're gone. Like, they're gone. Just, um, like, I'm not going to show it, but there, there are some insects that get parasites. And, and they're gone. They become like zombies. And, and this is what we see in these dogmas. They are gone. Some of them can't be helped because of the parasites in them and this could even be the the physical parasites like these and it also can be the the, the spiritual parasites I'm not going to get into that but a, a lot of these dog nuts they, they they don't know what they're saying they don't know what they're doing they don't know the facts about dogs they have been brainwashed not only brainwashed they allow their, their dog to, to lick them in their face. They allow the, their, the, the stench of dogs to go up their nose. They're touching dog shit. They're touching their dog that, that, that already has bacteria and parasites on them. Cross-contamination. So I would not be surprised if a lot of these dog nutters have parasites in them that have been affecting their cognitive. A lot of these dog nutters are just mean people they're just mean they're rude to other people they're 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 just disrespectful they're reckless and and i think a lot of them don't even realize it they don't even realize the the behaviors that they do each day because they have parasites in them they're not going to notice it they're, they're, they just, they just they just this is what they do this is how they function they're so impulsive and repulsive the way they talk to people, the way they behave. A lot of them, a lot of these dogmas are just filthy people, are just disgusting people. And you can, even if they don't have, if you don't see them with a dog, just by the way they, they behave and act. For example, if, if they're disgusting, if they're messy, if they're rude, if they, if they talk to you in, in a very, um, commanding way if they talk down to you that's a sign that they could actually be a dog nutter and the parasites again are, are affecting their 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 functioning but the but the you know the dog culture you know and, and the health people aren't going to say anything because again these dogs sell these dogs sell they're making billions of dollars each year not not even I don't even think it's I think they're make, make, making a billion dollars in just the the US alone so imagine globally and all these dognet organizations all these rescue organizations all these dognet companies that sell dog crap I'm on Facebook nearly every time there's a new dog crap product they're selling Always, oh, they're new. These things that you've never seen before in store either. Dude, this is a billion dollar industry, and it's not. It's not. I, I think again. It, I don't think the people running it really care about dogs. I think they see dogs as a as a monopoly, as a prop, and they lie. The dog industry lies. They brainwash these dog nuts, and then these dog nuts get these dogs. Sniff the dog, touch the dog, lick the dog, kiss the dog, grope the dog, and allowing uh, parasites to get into them. Um, so, 
So, so I was asking and looking around, like what parasites affect the the human brain. I'm not going to read too much into it. There's a lot. Um, and I asked what what parasites affect the human brain, and the first thing that came up. I'm not going to pronounce it, and I don't I don't want to embarrass myself. It's it's the it's I'll, I'll call it the tri. I'll try the tripan uh, parasite. And um, is this it? Hang on, I'm gonna open it up again. The tripan, uh, I'll call the tripan parasite, and it says this parasite alter and alter the structure and function of the host brain cells. Seems have particularly pe- penchant. For the I'll call it the hypo, which helps regulate our mood, sleep, wake cycles, and the whole start to feel and behave strangely, just like dog nuts. They're so rude and and just I, I, a lot of them are rude and just mean people. Their behavior is off. Now they also at first they suffer headaches. And, and a lot of dogs will probably lie. They don't have headaches. I guarantee a lot of them may have these symptoms. So from headaches, trouble sleeping. I I, I really want to. And and again, a lot of these dogs must they lie. They say sleeping with your dog helps. I want. I really want to know if, if that's really true. Uh, wake up odd hours due to parasites alter, 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 alteration of the rhythm in which the sleep hormone melatonin gets released before long through human hosts start to exhibit dizzy very variety of psychological symptoms from changing appetites to depression law dog again emotional service dogs service dog or, or whatever you therapy dogs and, and a, lot of, <laughs> a lot of them are ready dog nuts ready own dogs and and some of them are depressed so they get these dogs not thinking, maybe it's the dog, maybe it's the parasites in you. Um, to odd speech patterns, to uncontrollable itching tremors over the next few years. Uh, man, man, I, I, so this is just this is just a, 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 an example of what could be in these dog nuts. The uh, what's it called? The tripan parasite. That's just, that's just, that's, that is only just one of them. Mind control how parasites manipulate cognitive functions in their insect hosts. Like I was just talking, a lot of insects get parasites and, and they become zombies. I don't want to read too much in this, but the um, thing I highlighted. Uh, yeah, good. So here in, in, in this figure one, a parasitic worm emerging from its droning, drowning cricket host. B, I can't make it bigger, um, ladybug guarding a wasp cocoon. C, wasp manipulates caterpillar into serving as a bodyguard to its cocoons. D, wasp injects venom into the brain of a cockroach to use it as fresh food supply for its offspring. Just like dog, just like dog culture. Just like dog culture. Where pit nutters pretty much offer their their, their children to dogs. Where dog nutters... Behave very differently. They 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 behave differently. To to a point where they're they're feeding these dogs every day. As if as if they think they actually have control over it. But when possibly they can be suffering from parasites, from these worthless mutts. Uh, 
Uh, again, number C, C, letter C, wasp manipulates caterpillar into serving as a bodyguard to his cocoons. Same with this dog culture. The, the parasites, you know, probably are manipulating these dog nutters to be bodyguards for these worthless mutts. And a lot to read, not going to get all into it. Um... Parasites. Parasites are an are organisms that depend on hosts to survive and spread. There are three main types of parasites, and their, their symptoms vary. Treatments depend on the kind of parasite you have, but may include prescription medication. Practicing good hygiene, which dog nutters don't have. A moment you have dogs in your house, you, you've um, one second. When we have these dog nutters, these do sorry, these dogs in your house, you 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 forfeited hygiene. Because again, a lot of these dogs carry bacteria and parasites. They add thoroughly cooking meat. A lot of these dog nuts, I've seen videos of them cooking with the dog in the kitchen. Cooking where the dog is licking the spoons, cooking where the dog is on the counter, having the dog eat off the table. This is, 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 is an open door for parasites. And drinking clean water helps prevent many parasites. A lot of these dog nuts will drink out of the same cup or the same bowl as these dogs. And you're, and you're going to say, no, dog nuts don't have parasites? No. I think 50% of them do have parasites in them. Just look at the way they behave. Look at the way, look at their hygiene. Look at the way they cook. Look at the way they treat people, treat themselves. Are they sick? Are they dirty? Are they look filthy? Chances are they have parasites in them. Or they want parasites or they're going to get parasites. Um, they say this reason they rarely they ra they rarely kill their hosts, but they often carry diseases that can be life threatening. And I, I really want to see um, evidence of how dog nutters die. I want to know like evidence and um, the common way dog owners die. And I, I, I think a lot of them die through parasite, uh, parasitic, if that's a word, parasitic diseases. I think a lot of them, the parasites grow and grow and they mess up their brains, mess up their body. That's why they die the way they do. That's why they behave the way they do. And people are going to say, no, it's not parasites, not the dog. Ah, no. Nah. What do parasites do to your body? Parasites feed, grow, or multiply in a way that harms your body. There are three types of parasites. The main, the three, sorry, the three main types of parasites that cause disease in people include, I'm not going to pronounce it, I'll say ecto, ectoparasites. Um, it's a parasite that lives on the outside exterior of its host. Uh, they're victors, living things that carry diseases between animals and humans, dogs and humans, as in, sorry, dogs and dog litters, that usually carry infection through blood. Many creatures that, that healthcare providers classify as victors feed on your blood. They generally include fleas, lice, and who has these things? Which... Thing has these things. Dogs. Dogs. And what is the human always touching? Dogs. Was a dog always licking? They're dog nut owners. Hmm. 
mites, ticks, dogs. These are things that are known to be on dogs. You can't tell me my theory is bogus. Even though I say it's a bogus theory, you can't <laughs> you can't say my theory is is bogus. When in fact, dogs carry these things. Dogs are disgusting, and these owners are going to be touching the dog, allowing the dog to touch their face. These dogs won't won't wash their hands after. No hand sanitizer. A lot of these, I, I think a lot of them use the washroom and they don't wash their hands. I, I work at a place, not going to say what it's called or what I do, but it's a place where, you know, you think people would wash their hands. A lot of them don't. A lot of them don't. Not even, like, at least sprinkle some water on you. Not even that. So a lot of these dogs are nasty. Nasty. Hel uh, helminths are parasitic, uh, parasitic worms that usually live in the gastrointestinal GI tract. Your GI tract is a series of hollow organs that connect to each other from your mouth to your anus, including stomach, Small intestines, large intestines. The helminths are visible to the naked eye in the adult stage. They range from greater than one millimeter to greater than one meter. Uh, many types of helminths that affect people include flukes, fluke, flukes or flux, are type of flatworms that can spread through contaminated water or aquatic, arc, aquatic aquatic animals including snails crabs fish there are many different types of flux or flukes and they may affect your blood urinary bladder liver lungs intestines and other organs and also they mentioned tapeworms uh, they feed off the nutrition nutri nutrients that their host gets from eating food they spread by laying eggs in their host's body They then leave the host body when the host poops and the eggs spread infected food and water or uncooked meat. And roundworms, I guarantee a lot of these dog nuts have these parasites. I know they say that some of these come from like fish and etc. But I think some of these come from dogs as well. There's videos on uh, Facebook of dogs swimming in pools. And the owner swimming in the pool. So, so, so e even if you have chlorine in it, that dog and its parasites and its worms and its disgusting bacteria, it, it's, I, I, it's, it's not, it would, I, I don't recommend swimming with your worthless mutt in a chlorine pool, in a lake, anywhere. Because we know how disgusting dogs are. We don't, you know how, how they have ticks and mites and other parasites in them. Um, I'm not going to read through all of this. It's a lot, a lot of big words I don't know how to pronounce. But I think dog nuts, they, they may get the point that your dog is filled with parasites. You touch your dog. And those parasites have been in you. You may not even notice. But that's the thing. You can't notice. That's what parasites do. They don't let you notice these things. And when people come with the truth towards these dog nuts, they become so vile. So dumb. And it must be the parasites. Both spiritually and physical. Um, these are the symptoms, and um, I, I, I like to know, like, 
the how how healthy dog nuts are with dogs. Like I, I like to know how they die. I like to know their 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 how sick they get, what kind of sicknesses they get. And and, and I, again, I would not be surprised if they have parasites in them. Um. Some dog nuts uh, eat raw meat. Some of them eat raw meat. Some of them will allow their dog to lick the meat they're cooking. Then they're going to cook it and then they're still going to eat it. I don't care if you heat that thing up to the to the highest. It's it's not, you, you don't do that. It, it's you're going to get sick. You're going to get parasites. Man, how, how, how do people get parasites? Spending time in areas that with known parasites, dogs. Going to someone's house that owns dogs, multiple dogs. Allowing their dog to come into your house. Water foods, having your dog lick food, then you eat it. Not washing your hands. Before eating or drinking, a lot of these dogs don't wash their hands. They don't wash their hands after touching their dog. They don't do it. Not even hand sanitizer they use. Washing and bathing infrequently. Uh, I'm uh, dog nuts. Uh, having weak immune system. And there's websites that say dogs make your your immune system better, but I think it's bullshit. I think it it, it, it might again it it might have to do with parasites. It might have to do with parasites. You may you may think you're feeling better, but in reality you're not. You're dying slowly. The parasites are eating you up. Contaminated bug uh, bug bites. A lot of these dog nuts share their bed with dogs. They share their bed with nasty dogs. Dog goes outside, does what it does. Swim in parasites, crawl in parasites. Parasites go on it. And they will allow this thing to sleep in the same bed. And some of them are are doing the deed with these worthless mutts as well. I I think there is a connection between people with parasites and them owning dogs or coming in contact with dogs. There has to be. There has to be. The um, last thing I, I want to discuss um, about, I guess it's more general, generally speaking, but you can say it still pertains to this dog culture. Um, not, it's, not, it's not really about the article, but the article is kind of what I want to talk about. It's Peter, our companion, com- uh, com- uh, Campaigning to ban use of animal names as insults. Uh, in this society, um, people can be called animal names as insults, as something negative, something that's not good. Like weasel, calling someone a rat, a chicken, a bird brain, scaredy cat, uh an ass, uh, um, it's another one, there's so much out there, weasel, I already said that, a mole, a rodent, a pest, a bug, an insect, a cockroach, uh, a snake, these are negative, you know, these are animals that are, that, okay, these are animal names, 
that are given to people to describe them doing something that is negative or bad. When these animals just want to survive. A lot of these animals keep to themselves just wanting to survive. Doing what they do to, to survive. Um, whereas dogs... Whereas with dogs, they, 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 they bother you. They attack you for no reason. They don't stay away from you. They annoy you. With their, with their barking, with, their, with just them looking ugly, attacking you. You name it. Like, I can understand. And, and you know, I, I've... I've gone outside and, and I notice holes, like dug up holes in the lawn. Obviously, it, it was a raccoon, it was a skunk looking for food to survive. So when I see that, it, it doesn't really make me mad, but it's like, I get it. You know, I respect them. They're trying to survive. It is what it is. It's what they do to survive. But dogs digging, they dig for nothing at all. They don't dig for a purpose. They don't dig for a purpose. They don't do stuff for a purpose. They do stuff to annoy people, to bother people. So why, with all the information we know about dogs, knowing that they're so problematic, so dangerous, so vile, so disgusting, why other animals who have a purpose their names have a negative uh, uh, description to it. But dogs, who are known to, to be so negative and bad, it, the, the word dog isn't, isn't used to, to call someone negative. But if someone is negative or whatever, they call them a rat, a steak, a chicken, a scaredy cat. Why? Why do these animals, or a pig, a cow, so, so why do these animals who, who do nothing but keep to themselves, you know, they, they, they just want to survive, they're not really problematic, why do they get a bad rep when we know that dogs are so much worse, they're bad, they're disgusting, but, but, not, but, they, but the word dog is, has no, no negative meaning to it. No one is calling someone a dog as something negative. They don't do that. But any other animal, they, they have this negative meaning to it. Which I find, uh, it, it doesn't make sense. These real animals have purpose. They have meaning. They have a meaning. They're, they're not doing things for nothing at all. They're doing things to survive. But dogs, they do things, they do things without a purpose. Because they're worthless. They're, they're worthless. They're killing people. They're killing babies. Dogs are killing babies. Dogs are annoying people. They, 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 there's so much problems with dogs. And also parasites, they have parasites in them. Bacteria, these diseases in them. But yet dogs aren't used as a negative de description? But any other animal is? How, how about the word horse face? Usually to describe someone that's like not that attractive. When dogs are, are purely ugly. I'll say a lot of them, 95% of them are very, very hideous. And the other 5% are just, are just ugly. Some of them are horribly ugly. Horses don't even, are not, horses are not ugly. But they'll call people horse face if someone is unattractive. But the fact remains, dogs are just ugly. They are ugly. Dogs are ugly. 
So why are not we using the term dog to describe someone when they're ugly? Why not we use the term dog to describe someone who's, who's, a, who's a con artist, who's a scammer? Use dog to describe someone who assaults people. Because dog, dogs assault people left to right all over the world. I've shown you in the First Nations of stray dogs attacking people. Weasels aren't attacking people like that. Snakes aren't doing that. Horses aren't doing that. Cats aren't doing that. Leopards. Speaking of leopards, there was a video I seen on Facebook. A video I seen on Facebook with a leopard that attacked the dog. A leopard. I'm, I'm not sure where it was. I guess it was like a. It was in India. I'll we'll say India. It was on their comp their compound. There was a guy sleeping outside near his dog. The leopard, you know, walked in slowly. Clearly, you can see the human. And he saw the dog. He he passed the do the human or the humans, and went for the dog and killed it and ate it. Just like that. See see, real animals they, they tend to they want to they tend to stay away from people. They wanna they wanna stay away. Most part they wanna stay away. They don't wanna harm people either. When when these predators come face to face with humans, um, they they're, they they they, from what I've seen in the video, they're more standoffish. They they they, they, they don't. You know they 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 they're not quick to attack. Put it that way. But with dogs. They'll they'll attack left to right. The, the dog like dogs they just attack even if you're you're you know, again I saw a video another video, I saw another video. Father it might have been the Philippines. Father sleeping in the shop with his baby on the floor. This dog comes in attempting to attack the baby even when the father is right there. See, see, these dogs don't care. They just go. They're just gonna attack. Even if a human is there, they're going to attack. A group of people, they're going to attack. But mostly with real animals, if they see like a, a like a lot of elephants, you know, or other other groups of animals there, they're they're not gonna they're, they're not gonna risk it. But dogs will risk it. Just to attack people for no reason whatsoever. None whatsoever. So it's just a shame how real animal names have this negative spin to it. Well, dogs who are purely negative, purely negative, have no negative spin to their name at all. And it should not be that way. My favorite quotes, I've said this before, I'm going to say it again. And this is for the, the pit bull nutters. There's, there's been a lot of attacks lately. There has been a lot of them. A lot left to right every day, every week. Another pit bull attack. And I say insanity is doing the same thing over and over and expecting different results. They keep saying the same shit. Keep buying the same dogs, taking them in all the time, and expecting different results. And every day, someone is attacked. Every day, there's a problem. Every day, someone is attacked by these dogs, attacked by pit bulls. Going to there. Hope you learned something today. I'm kind of tired. Just got back from the plantation, so I'm um, tired as I'm talking. Um... Again, just to recap, uh, dog nutters, I believe they have parasites in them. Uh, I believe some of them are, are, be, are die, or have died and are getting sick because of the parasites in them. Uh, I believe some of these dog nuts behave the way they do because they have parasites in them. Some of these dog nuts cannot um, be changed. Some of them can't be changed. Some of them... They're they're done. They're screwed. They're 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 a dog nutter for life. They're gonna be stuck with their whole life, picking up dog shit every day. That's this is their life, and they can't be changed. Even if they've been attacked, 
seen someone get attacked, know the facts, see someone get killed by a dog, they're not going to budge. Even if they get attacked, they're not going to budge. Parasites, it comes back down that these people have parasites in them. If not, I guess these dog nuts are just really stupid. This is another worthless mutt. Score the dog butcher. And remember, it's okay to hate dogs.